Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer. On the last episode, completed full bandos, finally. And I was able to get my 25 mil melees at Abyssal Demons and do a bunch of clues, resulting in me getting really comfy in the dragon rank. But we're also going to continue a lot of dragon rank grinding. And one of our biggest things to solidify our spot is going to be maxing. So a lot of maxing in this. Uh, above now you'll see the current skills approximately and yeah there's only a few skills left only two really hard ones I think which is runecrafting and prayer in terms of like time consumption but everything else is really fast once maxing is wrapped up I can finally get the rest of the points that I need to sit comfortably in dragon rank via pvm the thing that I care about the most we're still not done with our pvm journey yet we still have Zami, sire and nightmare to do now, the Sire is going to be very important because I want to get the Bludgeon before Nightmare. And as a range build, Nightmare is going to be very challenging. But I do want to make it a challenge to solo it and find the best possible method that I can as a ranger. But lots of content in this video. Make sure to like this video if you are enjoying the video and looking forward to more. First skill I'm going to wrap up starting off this video is going to be Thieving. It's very quick and easy and uh, yeah we're gonna pickpocket some elves on the way to the teleport crystal for more points oh i got it yes the enhanced teleport crystal seed let's go wow i went to extra ray guys i'm gonna try to pickpocket the shard from the virus for some more diva xp Alrighty, two wait this is only 100 points <laughs> Oh, I was hoping it was... Wow, all this worked for 100 points. Man, I thought it was 250. Can't complain, though, too much. At least I got that done. These dodgy necklaces are so good for thieving, like, the vampires and the elves because their fail rates are so high. Look at this one. I was able to stop myself from being stunned three times in a row. And all the ingredients to make it, I just managed to get them from doing the Karamja task. Oh, nice. 2200 total uh, task here. Pretty swell, pretty swell. Damn, right before 99 thieving too. Is this it? Yes, it is. 99 thieving. Still got uh, two dodgy necklaces left. Unfortunately, no blood shard. So I guess I... I'll just AFK, you know, to get it. Because I don't really want to do any more thieving after these dodgies are done. Yo, this is actually crazy. I did not think Ragon Bowman was doable. But actually, anybody could do it. At least the first one. Oh, yes. Woohoo, let's go, man. God, the strat works, boys. Just got to find three blues that are basically going to disappear one after the other in a row and then followed by three greens that will follow very handy time because we are going for the maxing so i would love to get this xp lamp and also we're gonna get the elite diary done too haha <laughs> of course almost forgot about this there we go that helps a lot there we go okay we're finally done we're finally done no more jads like ever honestly but yeah, we are going to gamble the rest of these capes. So let me see how many I got here. Ooh, damn. 26 capes, yo. Here we go, number one. Not lucky. Here we go again. Number two. Not lucky. This is my first time gambling this much. That's for sure. Number three. Not lucky, of course. 11 more to go. Not lucky. Oh, the last one, bro. We got we got to type please this time and and go for the spin and go for the badoodle, man. Here we go. Badoodle. And smithing is going to be our next new skill to focus on. I have a lot of resources from Sokano and Motherload. So for the uh, bars and stuff, what am I going to make? Well, I'm going to make mithril bolts and adi bolts because I can also use that to train my fletching. So I've used up pretty much all my mithril bars and adi bars. Minus, of course, the ore that I can uh, turn into more bars. But I'm now at 93 smithing. 
7.3 mil, so yeah, we need around about 5.7 more mil XP. I still have some steel bars. Yeah, we're gonna go get ourselves 99 fletching on the way while we do sepulcher. Made a ton of the bolts as you saw earlier in the video, so. This is way better XP than broad bolts. Wait, I bought volcanic ash. Fuck. Oh, there we go. 92. That is very awesome because now I can unleash the ultimate experience per hour on the fifth floor and start working on some of those other tasks. Time tasks and uh, supper ring. Yay. First KC. All right. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> On my first try, I, I got 651, so I should be able to get the 630 pretty quick. Yeah, okay, that's good. I still got it, man. Hopefully no more, no more trolling. Oh, this is the fast one. Here we go. That's going to give me a really nice edge. The fastest start. Nice, good skip. Oh, that saved me so much time on that skip. Yes. All right, 345. Can I do this? Hey, we did it. Nice. Okay, now we can just grind casually and not worry too much about time. Oh, I got it. Hey. Nice. Yeah, we got the 99 fletching. Uh, I think it's fair to say 25 mil fletching is probably gonna happen but of course not gonna be the focus because maxing is but maybe after that right 25 mil fletching would be some pretty efficient and easy points so um, is this the one? Oh, this must be the tool right yay obtain every hollow tool done nice 98 agility uh, this is going pretty good I'm only looting floor 5 right now and it's been a very steady 1.2 to 3 mil, so this is nice. 99 agility. Nice, nice. Two, 299s today. 299s today. Nice. Just at 98 smithing, so I ran out of the bars, and I was thinking, well, should I make more bars from the ore? And I realized, like, no. That would just honestly take forever. And it's not AFK, and I just want to chill. So gold bars are working uh, really, really well. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Just hit 99 smithing. It is time to prepare for the 99 prayer grind. And this one, I think, is going to be our slowest 99, just because of all the prep work. But anyways, my strategy is uh, black dragons at Tavly Dungeon. There's two of them, and they spawn really fast. But... Yeah, they also have a chance to drop a Fissy. I opted over Wyverns because this is way faster than killing Wyverns, actually. What the f*** was that? Yo, what is that? That was insane. Bro, that, sh that was interesting. I guess it stayed in that one spot for too long. Alright, guys. So, for the prayer grind, I am pretty close to finishing. In terms of prep stuff, I think. I got 1500 baby dragon bones. I'm gonna just rapidly use these at my house uh, with the second best altar in my house that I can make because I can't make the best one. And yeah, I got some marantles as well to go with it. So that should give us, I think, like 2 mil experience maybe. Alright, I just finished burning all of the baby dragon bones and got 2 mil experience. So. Oh shit. Wait, 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 what is this? 126 combat. Oh, that's right. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at this bot go. <laughs> He's been here for hours, man. And unfortunately for this bot, it hasn't even mined a single thing. Oh my god, look. He's doing it again. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right, JFK, you're gonna get in the video, all right? Mr. Two Ass Cheeks, look at him. Oh my goodness. Yes, awesome. 99 prayer. 99 prayer. Holy crap, 20 points away from 50,000 though. Well, I mean, I'm like freaking hecka cleared from the benchmark right now. I'm like 3,800 points ahead of the minimum, so that's really good. So we're on the final day or two of maxing here, and the plan is to get 99 room crafting all today, but that's going to take quite a bit of hours, even at like 1 mil plus an hour. So I'm going to try to split it up and mix it with some herbler. So let me just show you guys my herbler stuff. I'm pretty sure no matter what happens, I'm going to get 99 off of whatever, you know, these herbs I get pretty much mostly from TOB. As for the room crafting, it's pretty straightforward. A while ago, I did mine 45k in day all essence, so that should be more than enough to cover 99 rune crafting. Before I did this, I was using Dragon's Medallion to bank, and now I have Crafting Cape, and the banking speed, of course, makes a huge difference. I'm at 1.5 million hour, and really easy to do. Don't even have to do pouches or anything. My pouches pretty much are about to be uh, destroyed, you know, because I can't repair it. But it's okay, I don't even need it. 1.5 mil. <laughs> Think about it, in 2 hours I get 3 mil, so 6 hours is 9 mil. Wow, this is surprising. All 40,000 day all essence got me all the way to... Yep, almost 99 dude, almost 99. Actually, the timing is almost perfect. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the wrap up. 99 room crafting and that's gonna put us easily over 50,000 points very solid so far though i'll tell you the hardest skill to train has been prayer because yeah you're actually having to kill things and crushing the bones and stuff with my regions definitely uh, a lot of work room crafting though second hardest I i'd say and yeah just like that, Herbler was done so freaking quick. It's actually a joke, honestly. Yeah, I was expecting Herbler to be a little bit more challenging, but honestly, it, there was just so much supplies left. Look at this. I have barely dented my herbs. Like, I opted to just make some super attacks and defenses and stuff because I just want to make super combats. They're actually going to be useful for me. I ain't gonna lie, I was doing a lot of just AFKing, cleaning herbs. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. Hands are up right now, away from keyboard. This update happened quite a while ago. Here's what we got for uh, fire making supplies. 1600 magic logs and 6.6k uh, U logs. We're definitely gonna do the magics first, but uh, yeah, we should be fine. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's 5 mil-ish an hour, as I've been told. So yeah, we are definitely getting this pretty soon. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We just hit base 80s for another 250 points. Goddamn. Yo, maxing is just hella points. Oh, there we go. Base 90s. More points. Oh, baby. Base 95s. I didn't even realize. Alright, shout out to all the boys here. For uh, pulling through for this uh, cheeky, small maxing uh, adventure, but yeah, it's finally done, dude. It's finally done. It's pretty lit. It's been pretty lit, boys. Yeah, right then and there. 99 fire making for the fireworks that is max. Beautiful. Damn, 52k points. Oh, wow. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we're gonna probably hit like 60k points just PVMing, you know, for the rest of the league now. It's been a few years since I've maxed. Oh, Mr. Iron Bar. Hell yeah. We got the max cape again. For 20 to 30 days. However many days left. Woohoo, yeah. We've reached Virgin Islands once again. So I want to get a, another one. I'm actually going to keep the Inferno the same though. Because I actually do enjoy the regular Inferno as it is. And I've never had this before. I've never had the... Accumulator max cape, I mean. Ooh, it looks it's pretty cool, man. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, hint of gray. So we got lots to do. We got sire to do. We got to prep for nightmare. Got to finish some grotesque guardians. Got to do some tob for just this year, so we can do some inferno speed runs and tasks and stuff. 
Oh, it's gonna be fun, man. Lots of exciting PVM to look forward to. Now that maxing is over, it is time to start working on the PVM goals again for the funsies. Ultimately, soloing Nightmare and getting some drops from Nightmare is where we want to end at. But um, yeah, a lot of other fun stuff to do to get some more points as well. Because I think we need at least 55k just to be chilling in Dragon Ring. But I think 60k is the true chill. So we should be able to get that. So first things first is Sire. We're going to go and get ourselves... Pretty much all of Sire's stuff done. Biggest prize is the bludgeon. Because I think I'm going to need that for the solo nightmare. As range build on nightmare is really rough. So I need all the weapons that I can get. To experiment and, and find the best combination you know, of strats. But yeah, Sire though should be fun. I think range will absolutely destroy it. So I'm excited to do it. Nice. Pretty easy to one vent. Nice, we just one cycled on one try, so that's pretty lit. Oh, I'm sorry. As I was saying, after the first three poisons, post teleport, he doesn't poison anymore for a while. So I can just blow pipe. So uh, yeah, let's see what we get for the first one. Oh, I got the pet. <laughs> oh man, no points for that because I already got another pet already. Oh my god, really? I actually got the pet. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, well, I got 250 points for offering my first one, so that was guaranteed points. <laughs> oh, one sorry, let's go, number two. Here we go, here we go. Oh, bludgeon piece, let's go. Very nice, that is very good. Here we go, number four. Oh, let's get it, nice. Oh, bludgeon piece number two, dude. Nice. Oh, now we're lucky. Now we're lucky for sure. Now we're two, two above the rate. Oh, let's go. Here we go, boys. Oh my god, dude. Sub 100 bludgeon. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it, bro. That's insane. Wow, dude. We actually did it. Oh my god. I could start playing my uh, nightmare, nightmare grind like right now, you know? But I need to do some more mental, mental, uh, planning here. Holy shit. That's crazy. That is crazy. Where's my... Oh, hell yeah. Let's go make this bludgeon, though. Yes, please. Give me the bludgeon. Uh, let me free this guy, you know? Alright, will he, uh, be freed? Hey, there we go. We freed this man from his suffering. And we get ourselves a bludgeon. Oh, 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 the best crush weapon that I can get. And it's gonna be especially juicy at the Nightmare, of course. Hey, 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 Nightmare Grand V2. I'm gonna give that a shot uh, starting tomorrow, I guess. See how that goes as a Ranger build. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell, that way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup, and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching, see you guys later.